no idea. Josh, explain this. That's it. That's all I say. I have no, no idea. idea. Anything I say is going to be wrong. No, no, thanks. <laughs> Straight from Mexico. <laughs> So was it his? It was in his backpack. Bo, we don't need to talk about this right now. He asked me why Josh was in his room, so Bo. I told him. Who wants jello shot? Mm, right here. Birthday boy. Yeah. yeah. We also have cheesecake, June special cheesecake, and I can make some lemon drops. Mm. Cheers. Hey, Jake. Yeah. Fix me up a little bit when you're in there? Yeah. How come none of those Little League pictures, <laughs> none of those Little League pictures of you and Josh are smiling? Smiling. Oh. Oh. Tell you, you give a kid an inch, take a mile. Okay. Hey, get a room. Take it easy, man. God. Josh is a good kid, and you are, well, kind of an asshole sometimes. <laughs> you know, talk to me a few years when you have kids. Amen. Pot is a gateway drug. Unlike vodka and cigarettes. Ooh, mm. the vodka. Woo! Cheers. Yeah. Vodka. Cheers. <laughs> I'm talking about the hard stuff. Hey, pot makes you lazy. Turns you into a liar and a thief. Oh. What kind of pot are you smoking exactly? Because it sounds awful, whatever it is. Uh, Come on, man. The, the laws are, are much worse than the plan ever was. Haven't we all smoked pot at some point? Yeah. Speak for yourself. Whiskey's just fine for me. Thank you very much. Come on, it's all the same. It's not the same. Pot's illegal. I think these drug dealers ought to be hung in the middle of town square. Anybody? Hey. Fresh baked. Mm. Looks like Jake's not the only thing fresh baked around here. <laughs> what is the difference between you drinking whiskey and somebody else smoking pot? I'll tell you mm -hmm. the difference. Please. Whiskey is made in the USA. Pot is made in, I don't know, Mexico or something. Foreign. Move me in, <laughs> amigo. That's right. <laughs> you are a piece of work, TJ. You know what, man? Let me, uh... Let me tell you a little story. Yes, do tell. tell. Story yes, time. Make it a happy story. Come on, I will tell you a happy story about the war on drugs. Um, you know that uh, <laughs> that old lady who lives next door to me with the glasses? What now? <laughs> Enjoy that salsa. The old lady with the, the glaucoma. The lady with glaucoma? Yeah. Is that like the girl from Ipanema? Mm. <laughs> I love that song. That's a good the lady with glaucoma. The lady with glaucoma. No, no, no. Y'all are singing. No, no. Y'all are singing Guantanamo. No, it's. It would be like. Um, all right, all right. I'm okay. TJ, thank you. TJ, guys, 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 please. So the lady with glaucoma. That's right. No, the lady from Guantanamo. Yeah, forget it. Forget it. I'm not. Forget it. I'm not gonna tell it. Forget no, no, no. It. no it's cool. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Come on. I want to. I want to hear you justify this. Yeah, come on, tell us. Erica, sit down. Come on. TJ. Okay, tell us the story. <laughs> All right, so the lady with glaucoma. You talking about Mrs. Cabritas? <laughs> yes, thank you, yeah. Mrs. Cabritas. She, uh, you know what I'm talking about, yeah, right? Sweet, sweet lady. So she comes knocking on my door, right? And she's wearing those 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 glasses that, you know, bulge your eyes out a little bit. They, they look kind of Magoo funny. thing. Going. Yes, the Magoo thing, I'll give you that. But she asked me if I can give her a ride to go get her medicine because she can't she can't drive anymore and she can't even find the bus stop because she's totally blind. Aww. Yeah. So you had sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just kidding, man. Come on. <laughs> so I take her to her pharmacy. And guess what? You couldn't find the KY jelly. Oh, God. <laughs> Reminds me of that time that I went to Rite Aid and there were like seven checkout stands and one checker and it took forever. Oh, wow. oh, all right, all right. I get it. Guys, forget the pharmacy. Let's just, yeah, 86 yeah. pharmacy. Forget the pharmacy. I didn't mention the pharmacy. It doesn't exist. It's a coffee shop. Okay? Right. So we're sitting outside and she tells me we need to go in to get her medical marijuana. All right? Her prescription is inside. Wait, is it medical marijuana? Yeah, yeah, medicinal pot, <laughs> you know? It helped her with her glaucoma. She had like, she had like 9% of her vision. Really? Yeah. So did you go in? Oh, yeah. Was it all freaky? <laughs> yes, it was freaky. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't at first, but it, it, it got weird. Well, what's the place look like? Well, we go in, and there's this, this young girl, cute young girl working behind the counter. Seems normal. Hi, Mrs. Cabritas. Oh, hi. And then there's these posters on the wall 
but I can't even explain it. But we go to the back, and there's a, there's a guy uh, with, with dreadlocks reading, reading poetry. And in the very back, there's this huge, huge bouncer guy with, with a sign next to him that says, you must have a registration card in order to purchase the cannabis. I want a scam. <laughs> so wait a minute, is cannabis and pot the same thing? Yes, very good, good. Yeah, cannabis, pot, hemp, same, same plant, except hemp, hemp is different than the pot that gets you high. And how do you know all this, Jake? Keep up, DJ. Okay, so I'm there with Mrs. Cabritas. Then... Well, I want you to meet Dr. Miguel. Dr. Miguel? From the back, this, this kind of funny-looking guy with a, with a goatee comes out, and she says, this is Dr. Miguel. Miguel. It sounds like a drug lord. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Was he really a doctor? <laughs> oh, God, who knows? So I asked Dr. Miguel, is that a real pot plant? Yeah. That's a real pot plant. That's it. This is the plant the government spends billions of dollars a year trying to make go away, even though it grows naturally in just about every state in the Union. But they consider it to be very dangerous. He's shoving the plant in my face, and he's shoving it in his face. Oh, oh, oh wow. Send in the Blackhawks. Get the Blackhawks. Send in the Blackhawks. Send in the Blackhawks. Call in the task force. Send in the task force. Okay. And then he turns around, and he's talking to this, this, this girl, and on the back of his shirt is all this, this uh, information about him. Well, like, you mean warning may cause stupidity? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, that's not what it says. It said, like, hemp is the oldest known agricultural crop. Evidence of hemp culture dates back over 8,000 years. George Washington and Thomas Jefferson were both hemp farmers. 54% of all cancer doctors responding to a survey thought smokable cannabis should be available by prescription. It said there's just a bunch of stuff about hemp, none of it dangerous. Is this Miguel from uh, South America, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, Jim, Miguel, I thought you said this place was weird. So wh where do we get to the weird mm -hmm. parts? Wait, wait, wait. I'm getting to that. I'm standing around all these people, and all of a sudden, Miguel, Dr. Miguel, looks at me, and he says, So, which side are you on? Good, what'd you say? Here's the crazy part. I'm standing there with these guys, and all of a sudden, boom. <laughs> I mean, like with cops and stuff. Cops? No, oh, man, not cops. Federal government! They're all under arrest! DEA. Big guys in, 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 in black suits with the, the, the masks and the giant, giant guns with the grenade launchers on it. Everybody, get it out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh! Get out. oh. And women with, with with rubber gloves getting ready to God knows what. Ah, you're talking. Sweet. <laughs> so what'd you do? Oh, oh God! Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Kept my cool. I know I didn't lose my head. Here comes the really weird part. I'm standing there and I'm handcuffed behind my back and this guy's pushing my face into the wall. Shut up! Oh, and all of a sudden, one of these DEA guys comes up to Mrs. Cabritas and he says. <laughs> Mom? Mom? Mrs. Cabritas' son was a DEA agent? Yep. Did he arrest his mom? <laughs> Dude, he copped his own mother. No way. No way. He mom. arrested his own mother? <laughs> Oh, we enter the crying portion of the drunkenness. Wee! All right, guys, Erica's out. We're gonna, we're gonna bail. All right. You know that will get you 15 years mandatory sentence. Thank you, TJ. Let's go, honey. Get get your jacket. Thanks for dinner, guys. Go Cowboys! Go Cowboys! Good night, guys. Yeah, we gotta go. Let's go get your jacket. You all right? Bye, TJ. Thank you. Hey, wait, wait, wait a second. You never did finish the story. Did you go to trial? They, they came in, took everything, wrapped us up, and let us go. Why? <laughs> Why? It's about intimidation, man. They don't want trial. Whatever happened to Mrs. Cabritas? Well, she lost her sight because of the trauma. Now she's totally blind.
It's like the rest of us. That's a good story, huh? <laughs> good night. night. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. Good night. Bye. How you feeling? How do you think I feel? I don't know. Alright, so. Good night. He's uh, in his room. Check his sister's room, too.